put that waffle iron? Huh? Oh yeah, you heard about that. I know. I just, I just haven't really been wanting to talk about it. So, she's decided she's had enough of England and she wants to move to Australia. There are folks where people are real, whatever the hell that means. I mean, real people. What does that mean? And yeah, of course, she's going to take the kids with her too. Milk. Oh, crap. How can I forget? So where was I? Oh yeah. My kids. Now at the moment, I'm seeing them quite a lot, you know, four times a week, if not five, and, and as it is, I mean, I, I'd like to see them a little bit more, but she doesn't like me being around too much. So it's just, we just keep it that way. But I don't know, I mean, as soon as they get over there, it's gonna change to staying with me for holidays. But I can see it getting worse. Oh, we can't afford it this year. Oh, you can have them at Easter. Yeah? And then that's just an excuse. And then before you know it. Oh, I know what you're thinking. I wouldn't exactly call you an ideal role model father and blah, 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 and all that Daily Mail bullshit you come up with every now and again. I love my kids. That's what matters. That's what all this is about. It's a damn waffle iron. Of course, this means shit all to her. You know, she, she can't breathe in London, and the kids will get a better quality of life over there, but I reckon this is just a shit cloud, you know? Just a stab at me. Like that guy from Moby Dick, you know? From Hell's Heart, I stab at thee. She laid down all these concessions that I had to do, and, and the ultimatum was always, I'll take the kids away if you don't do this. So naturally, of course, I did it. And what was the end result of all this? Yep, off they go. What's around here somewhere? Mm, what a drag, right? Well, what do they think? Um, Anya. She's too little to get it, but, but Nadia. She understands what's going on. I mean, she doesn't understand that it's, that it's a forever kind of deal. As far as she's concerned, it's like a holiday, but... I don't want to put words in her mouth. You know, I don't, I don't want her to say something she doesn't mean 100%. Yeah, I could do something. I could go to court, get them to stop it, but, but where would that leave me? You remember Joe used to hit me every time I went round there. It has been a hard and long journey to get where we are now. And I do not want to fuck that up. They're only around for three months more. And that's it. Three months left. And they're gone. So, so what do I do? Do I, do I get in the way? Become a, a spanner in the works? Run off with them? Take them to Spain when I've got them for a weekend? Never come back? Or do I cherish them for the time I've got them? Watch them slip and slide out of my life. 
watch myself become a shadow to them. I mean, I've done bad things before. I've hurt people. But if I was to just stand by and do nothing, it's the worst thing I can do, right? I mean, I don't want for much around here. I just, I just want to have them around me. You know, and just see them and listen to them and be a part of their lives. I, just make them waffles. You know, just laugh, have fun, and make them waffles for breakfast.